Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Yaw of the Day. This episode of Yaw of the Day is brought to you by Bit Africa. Bit Africa. You guys know um, there's a by-election going on today. And then yesterday, M- the MPP government was wrapping up the uh, campaign process for the by-election that is happening today at Ejisu. Yes. Um, you know the by-election is happening because of the death of the former MP of Ejisu. Yes, Honorable John Kuma. Yes, may he so rest in perfect peace. So yesterday, the president and his team, they were there to wrap up the campaign for the by-election today. And something happened. You know we are in a period where there is light out, day in, day out. And during the campaign yesterday, there was an ECG bus that was carrying a plant that was supplying electricity to aid the campaign during the campaign the final campaign session for the mpp yesterday there was an ecg bus that was carrying a plant to aid the campaign process to avoid doom so this is the state of the economy the president was there the incoming like the the flag bearer the income yes the flag bearer for the mpp for the upcoming elections was also there i think all the team was there this article was posted by gh1 president akufuado campaigns with a huge power plan to avoid doom so embarrassment at ejisu as the as mpp wraps up its final campaign activities ahead of the by elections on tuesday that's today watch the video <laughs> This is the same government that we have seen people from this government tell us that there is no doom so and MPP has done better than the NDC. I didn't see this during the past government their era. So yeah, for plant, ECG bus is carrying a plant. What so what is the problem? Is it that so it means they are aware there is doom so? If you are aware there is doom, so why don't you solve it? I've always had the problem with this government because the previous government was very bad. Very, very bad. There was doom so during that era. And then Ghanaians voted for you to come in and solve the problem. We voted for the MPP because there was doom so. And then we ask you to come and solve the problem. You come into government now and you are telling us you are better than the NDC. That is not why we voted for you. We didn't vote for you to come and compare yourself to the others. They were there. We tested them. It was not good. Then we voted for you to come. You are in power and then you are telling us you are done better or you, you are doing better than the NDC. We brought you to solve the issue, not to compare yourself. Anytime you call, you see them on radio stations or television stations or even interviews they ask them Ghanaians are complaining there is doom so in the country what do you have to say we have done better than the NDC government bro that is not why you are here you are here to solve the problem I don't know why politics is all about comparing yourself to the previous government this one to compare them say what you have to say and go what have you done I have done this I have done that I have solved the doom so they are turning off lights we voted for the NPP government from 2016 and we are in 2024. There is light out. We are complaining and then you are asking, telling us that you have done better. If you have done better, how do you go to campaign with a bus? ECG now also on supply a light. No, 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 no. And on the bus, a kita plant, and they are supplying electricity because they want to avoid doom so. It means that doom so is active and it is working. And government, they have five five months to elections and this is see it be state money we that will be doing that the ecg car now swap plant i don't know where the plant is coming from i didn't know we have movable plant safe until yesterday i didn't know we have plant that you can carry on your head and be moving and then we have the plant packed in an ecg bus fuel for the car fuel for the vehicle as well and you see the surprising thing we had people standing there cheering them on i don't have any problem whether you cheer them or no you're not cheering. bro you have people standing there cheering the npp government on when they have brought a power plant to campaign to avoid embarrassment for doom so 
Ghanaians form part of the problem. And when the president was giving his speech, you could see people. And I say, see, with the sleep, see, I have slept in that. Now, if I go, it's like ECG has a tracker on me. Wherever I find my foot, bam, light out. Unama, light out. Ugo Didi, light out. But when they are moving, they know there is light out and they are moving with plants. In their houses, they have plants. When they are moving now, they have plants. In their cars, they have power banks. And when they arrive, they are using plants to campaign. And we have people who slept in Dumsua the previous day coming to cheer the government on. Are we moving forward or we are moving backwards? And then, right now, I don't, I don't know who we should blame. But even if they are doing this now, and when the president was giving his speech, you could see people cheering him on. Yeah, yeah. And you see, when the president was speaking, if you guys know much about the by-election that is happening um, at Ejisu, when they lost a uh, Honorable John Kuma, now they have to uh, replace him with someone from... So they have to conduct a by-election, you understand. And the by-election, if you guys remember, previously, previously at the Ejisu constituency, 2012, the um, NP was Kwabunau Se Edu Yes, he was the... Um, MP, the former MP, that was from 2012. It was from 2008, then in 2012 as well. Then 2020, um, Honorable John Kuma took charge of that. So, Honorable uh, Kwabna Wusu Edrumi, he is now contesting as an independent candidate. He is from the MPP. He was the MP for Ejisu in 2008, MP for Ejisu in 2012. And now he is contesting. So, he has left the MPP because of some reasons. He is now contesting as an independent candidate. So no new hope and then the MPP is presenting a different person. So when he left, when the president was giving his speech, he was like, the this person who has left our party, watch the video. I could be a war gun and me and I'm a man who took me and yes, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm a class and back home. If you're in there, it was the 7th January 2025. MPP are buying and the was so. MPP are buying the was so. A Kufuado, a Benny. The more Pobi and the president, MPP president, Akasa, not to us on Pemua. Near PMPP, me, and Robert Ban, no Babet Kasa, I say. Yeah, I'm praying dependent BR. You who teach you. You send someone, I said that she. Eh, so pay you four bishop, and she and yeah, one and one and one and all. So, but no, me say, you say, and basso, and basso, and basso, and basso. And the president said something. You see, I don't understand why um, some things are going on. This is, I read, this is what the president said during his speech. Listen. When he was campaigning for the person who is standing for the MPP, this is what he said. From today, 7 January 2025, the MPP government is in power under the leadership of me, Nana Kufado. If we are looking for someone who can convince the NPP president that we need an MPP member and not an independent candidate who we do not know, it won't happen. I came here to plead with you to help me. You can see what is happening in Parliament. We need majority in Parliament. I know members of Parliament for Ejisu are mostly ministers. And even though there is a shorter time, I will see what I can do when you vote for him. The eighth, I, I, I was in Kumasi um, last, two, last year. No, last year. Last year in March. When we used the Ejisu, they were now constructing the road. I don't know if they are done or not. The road was very bad when we used the Jisoo. And the president made a statement say, every road, this is where Ghanaians have, every single road in Ghana that was constructed under his administration, he was the one that gave the approval. 
tells you that if the president doesn't give an approval, the road in your community is not going to be developed. So it means that the roads that have not been developed in your community, that you have sent petition to government, you have sent petitions to your MP, you have sent petitions to your DCE, the president has not given the approval. That is why the road has not been constructed. That's what he said. No great American. That's all I say. Yeah, 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 no more fire, I have some other kind of I am fat, I am fat. But it's also so, no. And then I'm so not a quiet ever a drizzle. If you buy a year before a bell moon, a day a quiet no wire or the amateur just to force her or no, and a year quiet. You are you to want to be reasonable, chairman. Yes, I may come far from you. I saw that here. I could be a organ and me and a man who took me. And yeah, yes, I can. If he doesn't give approval for the motorway to be fixed, it is not going to be fixed. So every road that has been fixed under his jurisdiction, the 16 regions, or no, or my to me, yeah, yeah. His Excellency said that. And he said, if you are looking for an end. Uh, an MP that will speak to the NPP president or an MPP leader for him to listen, then you have to vote for the NPP parliamentary candidates. So if you don't vote for him, a patriot say. So if you need an MP that can convince the president to work in your constituency, then you have to vote for an NPP NP, MP. If you don't vote for that, Ajigong, ladies and gentlemen, that is what the president said. But I have a problem because I feel like when you become the president, you are not president for your political party. You are the president for the whole country. If 50 plus one, the other 49 plus that didn't vote for you, when you become the president, you are the father of all the nations. Because election, we have people that will vote for you, people that will not vote for you. But when you become the leader, you solve the issues for everyone. But if the president is telling us that if you need an MP that will speak to him for him to listen, it should be an NPP MP. You remember when the president went to um, Mepe, when the flood happened, he said, if it's about people who vote for me or who did not vote for me, then I shouldn't be here in the first place. That was the words of the president. If it's about people who voted for me, and people who did not vote for me, then I shouldn't be here in the first place. You know, the voter region is not really the stronghold of the NPP. And the president says things like this, and Ghanaians feel offended. Ghanaians are already disappointed in the MPP government. I am one of them because the expectations from 2016, the challenges that we were facing before that time, and we wanted the change, change Ghana, move Ghana forward. Twaso. Four more to do more. Four more and it has turned to nothing. We are struggling. People are facing challenges. But we have funds that we can take to um a to ha to get a plant and supply electricity whilst you do campaign, but you don't have money to fix doom so for the Jisu constituency. Hey, Naka Sisu, Yasparki is ho fuel for the car. So we have a see if 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 they are coming, let's assume the bus, the plant is coming from Accra, you get a car for the plant all the way from Accra. Here we are. I'm not sure the president will return to Accra the same day. I, I'm not too sure because the election is today. I'm sure they'll still be in the Jisu constituency. Say, yes, I behind hotel. I'm a plant, no. Plants, no better. Car, no, so better. The next day, they come to Accra. If you say much, you are in trouble. But five months to election, the money that we are spending for plants can fix a lot of issues. There's a story that we are going to sit down and do about the health condition in one of the constituencies. And guys, it is very, very appalling, but I can only sit here and then speak. NPP has disappointed me. I don't know. We have people that 
MPP has not disappointed them. We have, if you go on Twitter, we have people that defend MPP with their last blood. It depends on how you see the government. From where I sit, I have not benefited from the national cake. If I say national cake, I don't mean pastries. I have not benefited from that, so they have failed me. System is not working. Nothing they work. But the president, the roads, ha, if you are going home and you see a van, a big van passing, you have to run back and come back to the studios. Because if you stand there, in it means that the president has not given approval. Therefore, our roads are not going to be fixed. He said this in the video. So guys, this is where we do now. Your vote is your power in December. So whatever you want to do with your vote, but look at your condition and vote for the right person. The by-election is also ongoing. I don't know who is going to be the winner, either the independent candidates that just left the NPP or the NPP flag bearer or any... The president was trying to shade the NDC, say he has moved from NPP to NDC or Alan Kash Munaji Omushid. The president is not wearing dark spectacles, but he's throwing shades to everyone. My name is Ace Kanti. This episode was brought to you by Bet Africa. We out. <laughs>